It's amazing. I just put up this video and I got a comment here. And she says, I figured the only way to restore the republics was for the heirs to reclaim their nationality. Just my thoughts and I'm hoping that it is restored. I don't believe it will be so subtle though. Europeans are sore losers. Well, you know what? I can't. I can't argue there. Um, I, I, I at one point I also thought that everyone had to claim their nationality for the Republic to be restored. But I'm beginning to realize that just by us um, doing what we're doing daily um, is we are the Republic, bottom line. And nationality is a way of life. Having the card, reclaiming your birthright, reclaiming your birthright, having the card, um, all of that stuff is great. However, it's a way of life. You have to act, as Taj says, as an heir. And if you're acting as an heir in airship status, then you already know that um, the Republic is restored. You already know that these corrupt entities are, are no longer in existence. No matter what you see um, or hear daily happening, they're done. And so it's kind of like, you know, that screaming kid that knows that they've done wrong and they know that they're going to be getting into trouble. So they're, you know, trying all their, their, the best to, to tell as many lies as possible. Right. That's kind of what it feels like it's going down. And in terms of, um, all the other stuff that, that manifests after that, there has to be full compensation for all the people that were subject to these, um, undue hardships, undue financial hardships, and um, the thing that I, I could never quite understand, though, is like, you know how you see the tellers and the people at the forefront? And here, what's so confusing to me is that I've known these girls and some of these workers for years, like 20 some odd years. And they're just little girls that, you know, women that now they're women, but they were just young people working in these banks and stuff. And I'm wondering, do they actually know? Like, what's going on that this whole thing is corrupt? Like, did they go in there and <laughs> they were told and they're like, yeah, I'll do it. <laughs> right. So I've always wondered that. But um, in terms of all the corruption and all the stuff going down, I didn't I didn't continue. I forgot to mention that lady that um, looked indigenous. She was saying that this whole thing is going to just unfold and turn over and change very smoothly. Like all the hype and all the confusion that people are talking about taking place she said that's not what's going to go down and if you look back over the years that's pretty much what's been happening it's it's going and it's you know things are going on the trickery is however okay here's one of the things i'm noticing all right yesterday i was in a taxi and i was um i love taking taxis here because you get a chance to talk to the people to find out what their thoughts are and this one guy was saying that He's done. He's packing up. He's moving to Florida. So I looked at him and said, Florida, you don't want to go to Florida. It's, it's slated to wash away. And those of us who are nationals know that. Sierra, I think, or, or Taj, one of them were talking about um, what's happening globally in the environment with the weather and what have you. And apparently there's a lot, there's a few places that are slated to wash away. So I'm reminded that, that of that movie. I think it's 2012 or something where you just start, start seeing these places get torn up from the floor up. And I was telling someone yesterday how, you know, we who travel um, get to see some really in interesting things. Like I remember being in Canaanite land, Canada, when we're traveling through like the suburban area and all of a sudden there was this huge gaping hole in the ground. And I'm like, oh my gosh, it was like the size of a house. And I'm thinking, holy crap. And I remember reading or hearing like the next days or two after that, that they had covered over that hole a couple times and every other day or so it was just opening back up. And I was thinking after doing years of research that they were saying a lot of these things that you see happening is mother nature saying she's had enough. There's so much corruption and there's so much of this spoofing of, you know, pretending that nothing has happened and, the, the thing that pisses me off is the fact that there's so many of us heirs who are still walking around in a trance and thinking, you know, oh, I'm just going to, you know, do this little thing. And, 
not paying any attention to what the real issues are around us and still caught up in a system that is an illusion. That's kind of hard to watch. But aside from everything else, I think it's just going to be, you know, smooth sailing. <laughs> I'm speaking into its existence right now. And for all of us melanated, the first will be last and last first. So because we were the last, we'll be first now. So we'll have to dole out all of the uh, of the uh, retribution. Um, we never got any restitu restitution for all the the wars and things that we were subject to. So they'll have to dole out that to us on some level. And the patent office, I'm speaking to you now, um, get in contact with Prince Edward County administrators and put us down for all of the um, properties that we have globally and claimed. All right, and so for those nationals, wake up, claim your nationality, claim your birthright, do what you need to do. But more importantly, it's attitude. It's the attitude. Walk as an heir, talk as an heir, know your position, and know that we do not take sides on any level. We do not take revenge on any level. Mother Nature, the environment, all of the energies, the ethers, and the gods, and the angels, they're the ones that deal with all of that stuff for us. So we just sit back and watch, <laughs> right? My mother would say, watch the hallelujah, <laughs> right? So anyways, that's, that's my thought on that. I hope that answers that question. But yeah, share, subscribe. <laughs>